Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing? It's Charlie, the average guy fishing, with another episode brought to you by Big Ed's Tackle Box, Berkeley Springs, one and only, truly dedicated bait and tackle shop. Before we jump into this month's Mystery Tackle Box Elite, I just want to thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel. All my new subscribers and all my old subscribers, um, like I said, there's going to be some changes this year. Uh, I'm still doing the tattoo. I'm a, For the stickers that come in the boxes, I'm going to pick 10 of them. You guys get to vote on which one's going to be my next tattoo, which ought to be pretty cool. Um, the weather's changing. It's getting really nice up here in the, I guess it would be the northeast above the Mason Dixon, whatever here in West Virginia anyway but I've gone around to like the parks and I've been along the creek banks and the river banks and stuff like that I haven't done a lot of fishing this year I've just done a lot of scouting and I'm still seeing a lot of trash always remember what I said guys take out more than you take in keep our fisheries clean keep our nature clean this is why a lot of private property people won't allow fishermen, hunters, etc. on their property because they trash it. I know it's not our job to clean up after our neighbor. It is our job, though, to clean up after ourselves. It's that simple, guys. It's that simple. All right. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right. First thing out of the box is going to be a Weston Spot one top walker uh it's 10 centimeter 15 gram this is a floating ghost hunter this is a popper style walking bait uh, i'm not going to take it out of the box this is a mixture between your your top water popper plug uh giga squad blooper things like that and your walking bait these here, this here's got a quiet funk to it. It's real subtle. This would be good in the mornings on them calm mornings, you know, where noise kind of spooks them. This will draw them in. You know, if you're out in a boat, flip it up on the bank. If you're on the bank, flip it parallel and just walk it back. Next, we have the 10,000 fish Zuki bug. I think that's how you say it. This is the black and blue. This here is a good bait for a Texas or a Carolina rig using the EWG. You can throw them weightless. They have enough weight that you can chuck them pretty far, actually. And I actually like the packaging. Individual cells. They're not the same as the blister packs, but they're individual cells. Keeps your bait nice and neat. Nothing worse than taking a bait, brand new bait, out of a package. And it's got a hook in it where you pretty much can't use it on your trip unless you can boil it or whatever and try to straighten it out. It's got a lot of appendages. It's a bigger profile bait. So, you know, drag it along the bottom, these little flappy things up here, flutters, kicks. It's kind of an evil looking thing. I mean, I really don't know what it represents. Like some kind of psychotic lizard looking thing. Not 100% sure. I've never thrown it. But I do know people that have. And they said it works great. It would be better if it was, I think this is a 5 inch. I wish it came in like a smaller size. So, catch go if you can. 10,000 fishes. If you can, try to downsize these a little bit, you know. For people who have, that don't live in Texas or, you know, Gunnersville or Florida where we don't have the, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11 pound largemouth and we don't have the F1 hybrids and stuff. We need a little bit smaller profile baits, guys. Appreciate it. All right, next we have... Z-Man is a TRD Tickler and Pearl. It's a two and three quarter inch bait. This is your Ned Rig. Comes with four little flappy doodads on top. 
kind of just like chills in the water, you know. Yeah. Also in the box comes the finesse shroom heads, Ned Rig. You could pair these together like this. And you just walk her along the bottom. Especially right now with the bass moving up, starting to spawn. You got some fry garters. You just work this near the bed. And I aggravate them. And the fry garter is going to come out. It's going to attack it and protect their babies. It's that simple. That's one thing I do like about Mr. Tackle Box. A lot of things pair together. You know. You can pretty much tape what's in this box. Use everything in this box together. All right, next we have the Guggen Squad Hound, and this is in the bone. It's a four and one eighth inch half ounce top water pop and walking bait. <coughs> it's a lot like this, just a bigger profile bait. It's got a subtle rattle as well, and everything. Says on the back, deep rattle, oval line tie, and feathered rear treble makes this Guggen crafted body a topwater savage. The bait fish profile is designed to trigger strikes from surface feeding fish. Walk the hound anywhere predators are munching and let the monitors feast. Uh, you can go to the visit catchcode.com backslash Guggen. It's on the back. I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is. This is a good bait. I've used this a few times and it's never it's never failed to it's always caught fish for me. How about that? Let's just say that. Alright. Next we got E W small pack of EWGs. There's three pack of three aught spear point. This here has the V grip. Wasn't too sure about these when I first seen them. But the hookup ratio is good and the staying on the bait is pretty good. The way they line up, it kind of puts your bait at like the perfect angle for walking it along the bottom. All right. <clears throat> Next, we have All Purpose Sparky Jig Moostad Ultra Point 3 8 ounce in the Bruiser. This is going to be a fairly quick video not real in depth because a lot of these baits have been in my other videos that's the one thing uh, I think they should find a way to adjust the boxes to the people that's already had them you know I probably have five of these over the past year I mean, I'm not complaining. I just don't lose them enough. This has got a little bit of brown, purple, and black in it. You know, it's bluegill color, especially for right now. You pair a nice crawl trailer on this. Hmm. Like maybe a Rage Menace or something like that. And uh, drag it across that bed. Get them uh, spawning fish fired up. Especially, like I said, the fry garters are protecting the babies. Alright, last but not least, one of my favorites, the Mike Buka Bullgill, three and three quarter inch floating. This is in the Ruby Gill. And the shape of this right now, the shape of this bait, let's see if I can get it open, is the profile alone. Let's see if I can get it out of here. I might not be able to. I'm just trying not to destroy it. There we go. The shape of this bait right here and the size is about perfect right now for those bedding fish. For those, you know, like I said, the fry garter. The action, you swim it across that bed because the bluegill, you know, the warmouth, whatever they're called in your area. <clears throat> they eat the fry. They are detrimental to the babies. They will eat and eat and eat. So when the mama and the papa see them coming, they attack. They attack right away. I mean, they, they want to protect their youngins. So what's, what's a parent do when there's danger to their kids? They attack. They protect. All right. 
Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is this month's Mystery Tackle Box Elite. It still hasn't disappointed. I mean, besides, you know, some of the repetition of the same baits, especially when it comes to, like, the jigs. Yeah. But I can deal with that, you know, whatever. I have many of them. I'll just stick them on the wall and sell them. I don't care. Get my money back. <clears throat> that's the thing. You come down here to Big Ed's Tackle Box, we carry a little bit of everything. We got Six Cents. We got Guggen. You look over there. We got Strike King. We got the Bitsy Bugs. We got Gary Yamamoto, some Bounty Fish, some Storm, some KVD, Strike King. You know, we got Z-Man. We got a big selection. We got Berkeley. So, come on down, guys. Visit us. Check out the store. Hang out. Shoot the breeze. All right, so do me a favor, guys. Like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I post a new video. I am trying to post more, but with the weather changing, the work schedule, I haven't really got a chance to go out and fish fish. It's still been pretty cold, and it seems like when I'm at work, it's 80 degrees. But on my days off, it's 60 degrees outside and windy. Like, right now, it is 53 degrees with 20-mile-an-hour winds. So, I don't want to go out and be cold. <laughs> I mean, I want to fish. Trust me, I'm itching to get out there. But, all right, ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, comment, and share. Definitely comment. I'm trying to... I've been off for a little bit. I'm trying to go through right now and respond. I try to respond to everybody's comment. All right. You guys be safe. Keep your lines tight. Later.